My name is Hartmut Döbel. I'm a professor of biology here at the George Washington University. Last year, just out of curiosity, I wanted to revive a little bit of my uh, graduate habit and started beekeeping. My name is Heidi Wolf, and I'm a student here at George Washington. Uh, I started in spring 2009. Uh, after serving in the Navy for almost six years. At one point you need to start with some fresh bees. Then you put them into a hive. We build these, we paint the outside, and then you get a wax foundation, beeswax. You smell it, it's real, true uh, beeswax. And that's where you put your bee package in and then they start drawing out these cells and then once the cell is completely drawn out they start laying eggs they, sorry, the queen starts laying eggs and then the workers start to put pollen and nectar in those cells and then convert the nectar eventually to honey. And our job really is only maintenance, keeping the bees happy enough space to keep the colony growing. So you just really give them an empty box, um, which is called a super, and then you put the frames inside and then they build out the foundation and either put the honey, pollen, or tend the eggs in there. And really our, our job is to make sure they have enough space and are protected from the elements as best as possible. Bees are amazing creatures. So when uh, I almost would say every person who first hears about bees is when they got stung by a bee or wasp when they were little. So you have this kind of little, you know, unpleasant experience. And then you go to school, you learn more about it, and then you see that they are so docile, so calm. For me, uh, not only are they ridiculously adorable, as you can see, um, but they're really intelligent and so perfectly engineered uh, as generalists, um, you have generalists and specialists in the animal world and they're so well adapted to so many parts of the world and they even have little baskets on their legs that are made of hairs to collect pollen and um, this is really altruism at, at its finest and it's, uh, it's just fascinating to learn about and to watch and I've been doing beekeeping for about 12 years and I still learn new things all the time.